guys, Dino here, back for a very special beer review. Today I'm going to be trying the first of the five beers that was kindly sent to me by Les from Les's BrewTube. I thought I'd go with the lighter style of beer and work up to sort of the, uh, the darker beers. So this is the Melon Balling Imperial IPA, clocking in at 9%. Um, the hops are Huel Melon, which uh, I don't know anything about, I believe they're German. Uh, El Dorado, which I haven't had the chance to brew with, um, but I, uh, I've had beers with it in and it's a very nice hop. And also Citra, which I have used. So, apologies Les, I've poured the beer up in advance because um, I wanted to let it warm up for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's been in the fridge since I received them from you last week, so... Um, yeah, they were really cold, so yeah, just just let it warm up. I could, sorry, I should have let it warm up in the bottle and then poured it on camera, but um, yeah, sorry about that. There was um, a nice bit of hiss when I opened the bottle, so uh, the carbonation off the keg is um, is working well. So the first thing, as you can see, it's a poured up a fantastic deep burnt orange colour. Um, not sure if it's showing up on the camera, but I can see some bubbles streaming up, so it's got some good carbonation there. Um, it's a small but a nicely formed head on the top. Some nice tight bubbles around the outside, and a little bit of lacing when I tilt the glass. I imagine the 9% is sort of um, hindering the formation of any um, sort of large head. I think as you get up an ABV, the the alcohol sort of tends to kill the head formation a little bit. But um, yeah, that's looking fantastic, Les. So cheers to you. I really appreciate sending these over. I've been hanging out to try these since uh, last week when they arrived. So let's, let's get a nose on it. Mate, mainly picking up hops. Um, I don't know much about the Huel Melon but I'm guessing from the name that it's sort of got melon sort of characteristics to it. Getting like pineapple um, and uh, yeah quite an intense sort of like marmalade as well so sort of marmalade and, and um, melon and pineapple coming off the top also like um, a sweet, almost like a sweet honey sort of aroma coming off the top too. I don't think you've used honey in it, but um, yeah, getting like a sweet... We, we have like Manuka honey in New Zealand and it's got that sort of nice... or well, reminds me a little bit of that, so... So it smells fantastic. So I'm going to go in for a, for a t first taste test. That's nice. Picking up the um, the alcohol on the tongue, and I can sort of feel it going down as I swallow it. Bitterness is quite. Um, you can tell it's quite high. It's quite intense, um, and it goes really nice with the alcohol. Just sort of that nice creates a nice sort of um, warming effect. Yeah, bitterness is quite um, powerful. Well, it is to me, but yeah, it's it's um, eases off at the end. There's no sort of lingering harshness or anything. Definitely taste the alcohol in it, and I'm getting some real nice sort of sweet caramel coming through as well. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of some like a sort of a sweet sort of honey, um, honey caramel, um, and then yeah, getting really nice hits just as I was on the nose of the of the hops, that sort of intense sort of marmalady citrus. Definitely some sort of pineapple going on in there, um, and uh, yeah, some a little bit of melon, but for me it's quite big hits of uh, pineapple. Um, so yes, those three hops combine really well together to give like a sort of a tropical uh, tropical 
fruit bowl sort of uh, effect as far as flavour and aroma. Mm. It's really nice. I've got to remind myself it's 9%. Um, I could sort of knock this back pretty quickly. It's quite warm here in the garage and it's going down very, very easily. Um, still got some more left in the, uh, the bottle there, so I'll be topping the glass up late, later. That is fantastic first beer um, there, Les. Most of my beers are sort of around the 5 to 6% mark, so I don't get a chance to drink many sort of um, double IPAs or Imperial IPAs up around sort of the 9% mark. It's been quite a while, actually. But um, they're definitely a diff different beast than your standard sort of IPA or, or, you know, hoppy pale ale. And the main difference is you get that nice sort of alcohol kick and that nice alcohol warming when you, when you swallow the beer. So to me, that is, that's the sort of beer that I, I drink fairly slowly and I really um, savour it rather than knocking it back. But that, that's fantastic, Liz. Really like the aroma from those hops. Real sort of rich and intense um, juiciness about it. What I thought I might do is, because um, I'm doing five different beers of yours, I thought I might um, maybe give them a score out of ten, um, only so that I can sort of rate each of the beers against each other um, yeah so if I you know if I give this a score let's give it a benchmark say of we'll give that we'll give that a give that an 8 out of 10 as a benchmark and then as I try your other beers I'll I'll try and rate them against this so use this as a benchmark of 8 out of 10 so that's awesome thank you very much for that so that's the first one. I'll try and keep the reviews fairly short so they don't drag on too much. Um, and we will catch you for the next beer. Cheers guys. Cheers Les. We'll see you next time.